Hey, what's up all you lovely learners and learning men? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with a new guitar tutorial like we do every single Monday. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. Today we're going to get our introduction to the open G tuning, a favorite of rock bands like Led Zeppelin and the Rolling Stones, as well as classic blues musicians. Specifically, we're going to learn an easy beginner blues shuffle. Printable tab for this tutorial and all our tutorials by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes and links below. So if you're a fan of open tunings, check out our playlist on the open D tuning. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our guitar. Brain and attention span. Once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in, let's do it. Okay, so the first place to start is with the actual tuning. I tune on my phone um, and I use an app called Instuner. I'm not affiliated with them at all in any way. I just like it because it's chromatic, meaning that some guitar tuners, for example, want you to tune specifically to standard tuning. This particular chromatic tuner, I can do any tuning I want on the guitar and I can also tune my other instruments, anything from a bass to a banjo. So we're going to start, you want your low, normally to be an E string, we're going to drop it to D. Which is a little unique because in a lot of other open tunings, your bass string is going to be the same as the key. So for example, in open D, the lowest string is a D note. In this particular tuning, the lowest is going to be a D. Now, when Keith Richards actually played this tuning, he didn't even put this string on. His Telecaster that was tuned to open G only had five strings on that guitar. The next is our G, and this is gonna serve a lot of times as our bass. Then we have a D. Okay, I should, real quick, the G, we're coming down a whole step from the A. Next we have the D. This is just standard tuning. Next we have a G. Again, standard tuning. You just kind of keep that one in tune. The next we have a B. Again, standard tuning. And then lastly, our high E, we are going to tune down to a D. So the only strings you're actually changing in the tuning are you're dropping the low E to a D, the A you're going to drop to a G, and your high E will become a D. Okay, so now we're in tune. We're going to look at a blues shuffle that sounds like this. Classic blues, right? But real quick, I want to show you a couple things. If you strum from this new G string, what was formerly the A string, all the way through, you have an a G major chord. If you bar the fifth fret, here you have a C major, and the seventh fret, you have a D, or a one, four, five. Also, if you bar the twelfth fret, you have a D at the octave. Really cool to create licks and fills. Okay, but we're gonna work on that shuffle. So this is gonna have a lot of palm muting. So you're going to want to rest the fleshy part of your palm. I'm getting my hand between the bridge and the sound hole, and I'm getting this part of the flesh on that low string, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck or strum the open G and the open D strings, one hand. I'm then going to take my index finger and put it on the second fret of our D string, playing an E note meaning I'm playing here, I'm playing a G5, and now a G6. Cool. And that would work for the shuffle. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Well, where don't you want to go? Okay, now. The next step, if you want to add a little more flair to it, that works just fine, and a lot of shuffles start and stop right there. You could also get your middle finger on the third fret of the D string, play something like this. Okay? Now, in a 12 bar blues structure, this will last for the first four measures. One, two, three, being one measure. So let's play through it four times. The 
the first four measures of our blues. Now, we talked earlier about this being a five chord, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna bar the fifth fret of that G string and the D string with our index finger. And then on the second beat, we're gonna get our ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. And if you want to, you can even get your pinky on the eighth fret. Now this would be bars five and six and last for two measures. One, two. And then bars seven and eight would be back to our original. Okay, so there we have the first eight measures of our blues. Then we're going to approach the turnaround. For the turnaround, bar number nine, you are going to repeat what we did on bars are here on the 5th fret up on the 7th fret. Index finger will bar the 7th fret of both the G and the D string. Then you're going to get the 9th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret. Back down 2 frets, we're going to do the same here. Bar that 5th fret and repeat what we did on bars 5 and 6. And then we get to the full turnaround. For the full turnaround, we're going to simply go And that's a pretty basic turnaround, but the idea is that this is a basic blues lesson. You're gonna play the open G on the first beat, one, and then you're gonna get your ring finger on the third fret of the D string, and you're gonna play a triplet, one pola, or you're gonna do three down strokes. After that, you'll get your middle finger on the second fret and repeat three down strokes. First fret here, repeat three down strokes and then you will play the open G. Okay? So you get one, two, 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 two. One, two, pola, three, pola, four, pola, one. That G is gonna happen on the first beat. So that's why, well, really slow. One, two, pola, three, pola, four, pola, one. And that one is the first beat of bar 12. Then you'll take your ring finger from the 5th fret here on the G string, slide it up to 7, and then index finger will come down and play the 5th fret, middle finger 6th fret, ring finger 5th fret. So the whole turnaround you get from the top, 1, 2 pola, 3 pola, 4 pola, 1. the top. So why don't we go ahead, you should have practiced each of these pieces individually, but why don't we go ahead and take it from the top and play through this whole 12 bar together so you can see how all these pieces come together. One, two, three, four. Okay, really quick, I'll give you a little bonus lick. Basic one, and at last, one beat, because you're gonna get your ring finger on the third fret of that G string, and bend it down a little bit, and then play it open. One and, and I like to play this one on the fourth beat. Now if I play this on the fourth beat, I usually don't play the third fret here. I'll do something like one and two and three and four and You could play it open or you can release and just pull it off. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. Okay, so there's a little bonus lick that you can give your shuffle a little more flavor. And there you have it, a beginner blues shuffle in open G tuning, a great way to get your feet wet with this lovely, lovely style of tuning your guitar. And until next time.
fun rocking and rolling, friends and family. Take care. Cool, everyone. That's it. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I hope you learned something. This is a very fun style of playing acoustic guitar. If you've been playing for a while, let's say you are an intermediate player, this is a good way to feel like a beginner again and have all the fun of learning and discovering the guitar in a whole new way. Again, please subscribe. New guitar every single Monday, ukulele, Wednesday, and Saturday. We will improve your playing. Um, Skype Lessons 101 if interested. Email me, 10 productions at gmail.com. Go ahead and check our links out to become a Patreon. And until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on loving life, friends. Life is good. Take care.